All right. It's Media Monday. Movie? Media. Yeah, Media Monday. Movie Monday. Since when? Since since last week. It's Movie Monday. You were... I'm a... You're... You're a... Oh! Media Monday. So, I'm in a children's show called Aberglass. Theatre isn't media. Yes, it is. <clears throat> Medium. The intervening substance through which impressions are conveyed to the senses. Yeah, well... <clears throat> <clears throat> Two can play that game. An agency or means of doing something. Theatre being a means of telling a story. Yeah, well... Medium, a liquid with which pigments are mixed to make paint. Is theatre paint? Huh? Is it? Yeah. Fork you. No, give me that e-reader. No! Uh. Aberglass, the show that I've been in for the entire Fringe, is over today. The run has been a lot of fun, and the final show was... Lovely and with a small but very appreciative audience. You can't tell that I recorded most of this video before the show at all, can you? We got a bunch of lovely reviews in, links in the thingy, but there's one thing that matters even more than reviews. Spoking. No! Parents! Mine came to Edinburgh to watch the show. Oh. For some reason, parents are really important in this kind of thing. No matter how old you are, most people crave the validation of their parents. Which brings us neatly over to the movie on this Monday, Weatherman with Nicolas Cage, which is actually quite good, and has a good example of this craving of the validation from one's parents. It's definitely lower and two brower, if not middle. Yeah! Idea! I made a wish list on Amazon. I'll, you can suggest films in the comments and I'll add the films to that wish list. Okay. See, and then, people can, if they feel generous, they can buy me that film on the wish list and I'll review it. So you'll get lots of free films? Yeah? You greedy bastard. No! You just want people to buy you lots of great movies. No, no, no. It doesn't work like that. No matter if it's good or bad, I'll watch and review it if you buy it for me. So you could just buy me shit films to torture me and I'll still review them online. It might be a more entertaining review anyway. Greedy bastard. I've got a rap party to go to so I'll deal with you later. Let's just finish this by feeling the feedback. I've got a video response from Men Who Put On Glasses. Look! Glad that you're back on the internet. That's very nice, isn't it? Wait, hang on. What's that? Kleenex? Aww. I didn't know my videos meant that much to you. Thanks. Adam writes on Facebook, I'm jealous of your bilinguality. Teach me Norge. <coughs> Norwegian. Not bilingual, but you're, you're Asian. Don't you speak... Asian or something? <coughs> Racist. <coughs> Lana B writes, I've done the dropping technology in the ocean thing. Was more worried about it than I was about the fact that I'd almost drowned. Might want to sort out my priorities, haha. Say what? <laughs> See, you only almost drowned. But you did fully drown your tech. You monster. And finally, about the mountain jubit in the previous video, Galeron 066 writes, Loving the reflections in the painting behind you, my dear winky face. Oh. Um. Oh, look! It's an ATST! Pew, 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 p